Hello, hi, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, user here to see some Cursor Strad. Sad news, there will be no Cursor Strad. We've had a bit of a hard time getting a hold of the DM, so we are kind of, you know, filling up now. So, what we've done? Well, I've enlisted the help of a friend of mine, a DM, Eric Chud, from a server that we play on. Now, the server is called Adventure On. What is Adventure On? Well, Adventure On looks a little something like this. As we can see here, we have the logo and we have the mascot. Now, what exactly is it? Well, it's a server of over 700 people, DMs and players, all alike. And what do we do here? Well, we simply play D&D. &D. Now, we are from all over the world, and as you can see, it's active. How active? Well, we got chats from people all over the world at different times. And you got games at almost every day. You can see here, we have our beautiful list of games that would probably be better over on this uh, over on that side of the screen but you know who cares anyway multiple games over multiple days tuesdays thursdays nothing here nothing here nothing here but you know people will be posting games it is however only sunday ladies and gentlemen and you can even get the schedule of all the games just in case you want to see what's being played there are also play by post if that is your thing they are welcome to all dms and all players around so why don't you get yourself into adventure on there's going to be a link below play enjoy maybe you'll see me maybe you'll see eric who knows but ladies and gentlemen until that time adventure on in dm eric chud proudly present dragon of the endless dark in any case you are a, a small band of adventurers you are traveling as in all my campaigns and adventures between the mythical cities of hither and yan um these are lore free locations the city of Hither is on one side of the world. It's very mundane and normal. There's mostly humans hanging out there. And Yan is almost a mythical place with all kinds of crazy stuff going on, super high magic. And you are traveling somewhere in between. Um, and you um traveling. And let me get to the journal so I can remember my talking points. And you come upon basically a, a small town on the edge of a, um, a large forest. And um, you know, you would, you know, you notice that the forest is is it's actually quite beautiful from a, a distance. There's, you know, there's a lot of trees. There seems to be um, a great it appears to be a great natural resource but you notice as you're staying in this village um the woodcutters when they go out in the morning to harvest wood for fires and for building and that they're they're heading away from that forest even though it's beautiful and this wonderful resource and you don't see anybody going in the hunters when they go to hunt nobody's venturing in um, it strikes you as a little bit odd. And that's where we'll start. I don't go to the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> it's all melted now, so it's really good. Melty, melty ice cream, the best. You don't mm. have to chew it if it, it's not too Who hard. Who the fuck chews ice cream? My mother. I don't know why. <laughs> Does she have wooden teeth? <laughs> no. Don't okay. Just... So yeah, all of the all of the locals that are near this forest, they're actually not actually going into the forest at all for any reason they're they're avoiding it like the plague you spend your night there um 
you're ready to move on. Is there meant to be another map? Oh, there's, there's, I'm not doing anything with the map ah. yet. <clears throat> this is the point where you can, you can role play. There's, you know, there's villagers talking. Let's say you're at an inn or a tavern or whatever. And you definitely hear uh, somebody say, you won't catch me venturing into the Deadwood. And it strikes you that the Deadwood is a really inappropriate name for such a beautiful forest. <clears throat> then your boy Gob Gob will nibble in these nuts. Gobble in these nuts will walk on <laughs> over this little loot in one hand. Say, Boris, yes. What wrong with forest? You no go. Oh, it's um. Uh, well, you see, it's a uh, beautiful. It's 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 cursed. It's it's cursed forest. You don't want to go in there. Um, it looks it looks beautiful and all, but if you go in there, um, you don't come out. Um, I mean, you could maybe go, maybe pick some berries towards the, towards the edges. Um, but the deeper you go, the less chance you have of coming out of there. Um, they say that, um, uh, elves used to live there long ago. Um, you know, there's actually this, um, this, this, this crazy old elf lady, um, you ever see an old elf? Um, like she's oh. old enough where she's actually got like her, her face Pinkles? starting to face starting to sag a little bit. Yeah, Shalane, she lives by the she she lives by the edge of the forest. She always talks about wanting to go home. That's you. Um, but you know she's she's nuts. But Maybe she, she, she be she, introduced to me. I too am nuts. Uh, do you, uh, why don't you why don't you go ahead and describe yourself to the party? Gold? So, go as you're tall. You know, for for a bugbear, he's small, but you know, an average you're a size. Hobgoblin. Yeah, hobgoblin. That's you are crazy. <laughs> Delusional, okay. Uh, as a hobgoblin, he's you know he's smallish for a hobgoblin, but also quite slim. He's got a nice little goatee, and his hair is very much you know <clears throat> very much braided, kind of held out of his face. He's you know he doesn't look very strong. Definitely looks wiry. For certain, he's got his little drum, which is got a nice little skin on it, the little bullseye painted for his little beating patterns, and well, he's not as eloquent as he'd make you out to believe, but he. When he's casting spells, you'd swear it's a different guy altogether. He's, I'd say he's non-threatening. He definitely, definitely tries to remain open to, you know, attract as many people as possible. Yeah, they, they, uh, this woodcutter guy, he kind of looks at you. He's an older guy. Um, he's kind of like of a medium, kind of like three quarter height. You wonder, he looks mostly human. You wonder if he's got some dwarf in him, but he doesn't seem put off by your appearance or anything. He says, yeah, he says, uh, yeah, that Shalane, uh, he's a hill dwarf mix. So he talks a little funny. Um, yeah, she lives right up at the edge of the forest. She's a little crazy. If you want to, 
if you want a meter, he points and he says, you see that oak? And he points. No. You want to you wanna go over yonder towards that oak and then you want to head over a piece? You want to head over three elms, then towards that hickory, and then by that sycamore tree, you'll see if you look up the sycamore, she's got a little little house built up there. Um, meantime, um, Cassandra, what are you doing? I'm just eating my breakfast. I'm hungry. Okay. And I Water need energy. energy. <laughs> why don't you describe what you are why don't you describe your character to the group uh i don't know what she looks like <laughs> well make something up we're playing D. &D. okay um well it doesn't it doesn't have to match the token don't worry about it just however you want it to appear in your mind's eye let's go with carla <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Um, I guess she has, like, a side buzz on both sides of her head and a big, he I don't know, heavy black um, fringe braid going down her, to the middle of her back, uh, and so that, that her horns are seen, they're black as well, shiny. And she has like several metal chain links on them for decorations. Fantastic. So you're quietly eating breakfast while Robe is doing most well, of the not talking. Well, ve not very quietly. Let's, let's say that she's very hungry. and <laughs> She doesn't care much about etiquette right at the moment, even if she's a noble. She's just okay, gobbling so everything down. <laughs> Pan and then Cassandra has terrible table, terrible table manners. As you look down... I'm her, still um, <laughs> there's, there's, there's bits of food on her, on her clothing that have probably been there for um, days, possibly weeks. Um, she plays pays great attention to her hair and her horns. Um, anything below the shoulders, though, if you look up close, she's a bit of a hot mess. What do you know? Telekinetic. Check what are you out. doing? Uh, I'm. At like the absolute uh, monstrosity I am at this time in the early time in the morning, I'm heavily drinking. Like, like, as in, like, you have a problem, like, heavily drinking? No, no, I, you're among I friends. I just choose to. I choose to just heavily drink all the time. It's it not a problem. A problem. I, I swear, I, I can stop at any time. <laughs> you know, I, I just like drinking. <laughs> Okay, and I'm um, egging him on by just you want some when he's like halfway done with with his whatever he's holding. I just I just add it, add some more. Yeah, you need to drink. You need your energy or something. I'm I'm, I'm just not even noticing that she's adding more. I'm that fucking wasted. <laughs> one of the uh, one of the woodcutters looks over at you, Tella, and he um he looks at your mug and he takes a sniff and he says, "Wait a minute, is that is that?" Turpentine? Is that mineral spirits? Where'd you even get that? You're gonna go blind, son. No, oh, trust me, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm drunk and a lot worse. <laughs> you're not. You're not from these yeah. parts. You, out of out of all of them, you are not even from this plane of existence. Um, mm, of course not. Well, what do you think I am? A goblin? Uh, uh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I do the ah! <laughs> and spray bits of food out of my mouth. Yeah, so we've we've got a drunk, a slob, and a socially awkward bard. Fantastic. Um, they <laughs> tell the old... <laughs> start of a great party at the party. Fantastic. <laughs> it's like every D and D party <laughs> ever. Totally dysfunctional. <laughs> but anyway, the the woodcutters point you over to Shalane's home up high in a sycamore tree, and she said, and they say, if you want to know more about the forest, she's crazy, Duh. and they, she says, she used to live in there. If you're curious, maybe you could go and find out. 
If not, you can go on your merry way and the adventure's over and I can go to bed. Mm-hmm. It's only hmm. 4 p.m. I know, 5 p.m., <laughs> but yeah, it's all good. <clears throat> well, eventually. Needs that. Yeah. You first met. Oh, I said, I, I just simply saying everyone needs their beauty sleep. Oh, you know. Then I will venture over to the party. It's, uh, the beautiful forest is cursed. The, really? Apparently. There's a crazy lady who lives in a tree, apparently, who uh, can give us more information. Um, do we want to go to a cursed forest? I mean, I've seen worse stuff, so why not? No. It's... What makes a f- cursed forest cursed, though? A curse. Like, but what kind of a curse? Like, there's, like, there's, there's fuck, yeah, there's, there's, there's shit, there's, there's, there's bullshit. Oh, uh, not, not that, not that. Uh, wrong curse. Okay. Not that kind of curse, not that kind of curse. Uh, for example, say there could be a lone ghost wandering the forest for all eternity, for all we know. Or it could be something as simple as that. Or it could be anyone who steps into the forest gets their eyeballs ripped from their skulls, their skin peeled off and turned inside out. Um, you are a joy to have at parties. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm wonderful to have at parties, darling. Don't worry about that. He he knows how to describe shit. It's not I'm my fault. Versus... Alrighty then. But shall we, or are you too busy making a scene? Breakfast eventually ends. You've eaten and drunk all you can possibly eat. The woodcutters and other normal people go back to their normal lives. You leave the inn, you're looking at the road ahead, and you have a decision to make. It's, uh, do we go to the house, or... You could also just go to the forest. The house? Why would I go to the house? The house. The hills? Honestly, honestly, dude, you need to speak up, darling. Speak up. We can't hear you. The house. Oh, he's, say, he's he's saying oh. a house. He's just uh, for for a bard, he's rather illiterate. If if you'll say I have a speech impediment one more time. Mm, yes, <laughs> it's rather rather helpful for your uh, eloquence, isn't it? Like yes, you need to, you need to be specific with words because I thought you said two different words first. It's not my fault. Just that. Uh, Nature of my upbringing. Nah. What All we... right. What do you What do you do? I'm gonna we make her just... start making my way towards that house. <laughs> you make your way. Making our way. <laughs> oh, I just had a Matthew Mercer moment. Thank you. Um, Anytime. Uh, it's okay. Um, I expected as much as soon as I saw the word vex in your name. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's vexation for short. Of course it is. Um, you make your way towards the edge of the forest and you follow oak, elm, elm, and sycamore and you look up and there is um, up in the tree you see a, a quaint little tree house. There is um, uh, just little steps cut neatly into the side of the tree um, where if you're, you know it doesn't look like it's too hard to get up there uh, I go up there <laughs> they told you her name is Shalane by the way Follow the one up until we get to a door <clears throat> It's more of a, yeah. There's a door. It's it's made of like bark. It doesn't sound, doesn't look too sturdy. You get up there. You actually, as you're climbing the tree, 
as you're on your way up, you see the door opens and you see um, what could only be described as an old wood elf looking down at you. Um, you know, wood elves are not the longest lived elves anyway. Um, <clears throat> you would say um, that, you know, they, they live to be, you know, into their 700, sometimes 800 years old. Um, you would say that she's probably every single bit of that as she looks down at you and she says oh I see I've got visitors again so soon one after the next what brings you to see me she said again Again? No. Oh. Oh. Did, did, did you come? <coughs> uh, uh, just you know what? I'll come down to you and she, no, no, um, you, you. We would not want you to fall and she, break something. She leaps down out of the yeah. Tree breaking something is really painful. She does a little. She, she tree does a little, a little Fine. flip in the air and she lands kind of on her lightly on her feet as what elves do and she comes down it's it's more comfortable down here anyway what what um, she's 300. what what brings you here no she's she's old so i learned um, we hear of the forest are you um are you friends of ramesh that boy i, I talked to the other day do we know a ramesh I, I don't, don't, I don't, I don't, if we no say yes, will it get us information quicker? I, I don't think I've heard of a Ramesh. I mean, she says, uh, well, you, you look confused. She says, well, what what brings you here to my my little home away from home? And she looks sadly into the forest. Well, now that you mention it, the forest. Oh. <sighs> I wish I could go back, but the forest is cursed. I cannot go back to the all tree. All Terrible. tree? All tree. A L L. Oh, that's just in character shit. That's just yeah, doing... okay. <laughs> she's so used to heckling Goop that she's just she, looking she, to she, everyone. She yells real loud All tree, dearie, all tree. Like, like small, like our good friend Goob here. Ah, okay. Thank um, you. Um, uh, you know, I used to live there in the all tree in the middle of the forest with my entire extended family. You know, I would go and she looks you over and she was, you know, I was once an adventurer much like yourself. But then you took an arrow to the knee. Yes, I took an arrow to the... Oh, I have a dollar for every time I heard that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, you need to get some new humor, my friend. You're, you're meant but, to be a bard. Come on. You're you know, the I, was, down. I was away on an adventure for some months, or maybe it was years. It's, it's you know, human terms, so hard to tell. <laughs> um, what do you, why do you say... Like, like, like that. I mean, are are any of us human here? Well, look around, dearie. We're you're pretty close to Hither, <laughs> where like the major majority of population is human. So it's like, um, she's like the men rule these lands mostly, but you know, it gets better as you head towards Yan. But um, she says, um, I was returning from an adventure and I came want to want to come home and spend some years there and uh, my own my own friends my own family wanted to drive me away they were changed something horrible had happened they told me I was no longer welcome it's the tree the all tree has been changed and twisted some evil has taken hold there it's okay we can 
We are very much interested. You don't need to sell us on the idea. Um, just... I would like to go home before I die. Jeez, we make pages. no promises. Hang on a second. You guys have insulted the old lady. I mean, but, My that's, dog. that's so racist. Like, I'm not am... human. You're not human. He's Whoa, not human. Dude. She's not human. Why? Why does? Why do people what use wrong with you? human I'm... words? You're meant uh... to be a bard. You should be. You should be making this woman feel good, not insulted. She's too old to make feel good. And she is pretty old. And, 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 and says, you're too small um... to be able to uh, reach the top shelf. We're not she insulting says, you for that. She tells you that. Uh, the the all tree used to be a force for good. Her eyes go a little fuzzy, and then she says, um, "Now a potent dark energy oozes from the tree, and it has corrupted all who are still within it." Um, she says, "There's great power and great." wealth within the tree and she has often dreamt, dreamt of you know freeing it from its grips of evil but she's just one woman and now she's too old to be of any use and she dare not enter but if you were the adventurers would like to check it out more than welcome to what's, what's the worst that happens mm -hmm. It has been a while since our last adventure, so why not? So, did, 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 just with... point me to where I need to go and bid someone someone up, and I'm up for it. Well, did you um that that the boy Ramesh was he? I, I told all this to him too, just um not that long ago. You've never I'm gonna take our head first. Is he part of your? Is he part of your group? No, just us three. Again, I don't. I don't think we've ever met a Ramesh. As I as I say this, I'm just like going to take out a hit glass and start drinking again. What did he say he was? Oh, some weird word. Human. Uh, he was human. Yes. Um, wearing those round glasses on his face. A wearing. A book, um, wizard? No, no, something different. He said he was artificer. Oh no, Art artificer. That sounds no, not artificer. He said mage, archi, ah. archaeologist, 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 something like that. I don't know. I don't hear too good anymore. But he said he was, um. Oh, so he's a nerd. Okay. He was seeking Makes something. The whole time. He was seeking something and was looking for something. Um, that of this? At the, at the tree. Um, Maybe he was kind of... looking for the root of the problem? Would, would, <laughs> a, <laughs> That's as, funny. Let's see what you did a... there. As a researcher, would I know anything about stuff? Give me an Arcana check. Roll first roll. Ooh, that one. Ain't coming. Yeah, it's gonna be. <laughs> I feel it. Oh really fuck good. me! No, I'm 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 too amazing, darling. I'm too amazing. You've heard. You've heard legends of the All Tree. Um. All Tree. <laughs> it's not real. You've you've heard it's it's an imaginary place. There's no such place as the All Tree, um, but you've heard legends that it, it stands as a barrier between um, between good and evil. It's like it's kind of like a protector myth kind of deal. But mm -hmm. you, it's you know, this is from hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Um, but you've you've heard of it. But you don't think it's real. Look at you mm. being all smart. Well, uh, the only problem is that this, this place doesn't exist, though. I mean, this is a first-hand recollection. 
Yeah. Mm, you, yeah. She says, look. The only it's... thing is, thousands, thousands of researchers have gone looking for this place. They don't, know the, they don't know the way. She. The way? Do you know the way? Do you know she, the way? <laughs> she actually she goes, she climbs up into her tree. And she um, comes down with a scroll. And she says, um, to get there, you must travel by night and navigate by the stars. And you hold the map just so. And the light of the stars will reflect the way. And she how to get there. And she she says, this is just... um, this is a rough copy, but this will get you there. It's the last I have, the last one I have. I know the way myself, but this will get you to the all tree. She gives you a map to the all tree. It looks like from looking at it right now, you're looking at what looks like a, a picture of the forest. There's not a lot of detail to it during the day. But Why? as night falls. Why must we go by night? Why can't we go during the day? Well, you could try, but you'll get right. lost. Because it's not the magic way to do it. Yeah, didn't you know that? Honestly. I'm laughing. You should be able to know this. Honestly. It's, I mean, if it's not an elf. Didn't you, didn't you go to school? No! This is, to, to college, this I mean. This place isn't meant to exist, right? It was if community it, college. Yeah. Well protected, but it doesn't exist, right? And surely it would be protected by some sort of spell. Clearly, this one is that it is unfindable and untraceable until it is nighttime. How much of what he sure. said is correct? Shalane kind of nods at you and she kind of pushes the map kind of into your hands. She says, Try it, you'll see. I told Ramesh the same thing. He hasn't come back yet, so maybe he's found it. Or maybe he died and did somewhere. Who's Ramesh again? He said he Is was that... Arky. Arky a virgin. He's a virgin that we don't need to worry about. Yeah, he died. He went into the forest of virgin. He died in the forest of virgin, probably. Let's just be honest. He likes, he likes anal? Is that what we're saying? I think you're maybe hearing things, Brent. Let's just let's get you uh, out of here, away from the I old think, lady. I think I think I think the problem is I need a drink. I, I think I need a drink. And I think you, you need a drink. Drinking. She yeah. says, "Well, let me know how it goes. If if I can return before I die, it would be a great comfort to me. I don't have many years left. Maybe only forty or fifty. Uh, oh, darling, we'll we'll try and get you back to your home." I'm just blunt. It shows. <laughs> Excuse my oh, friends. I'm... One was dropped <laughs> as a child, and one was dropped multiple times. She's already climbing up the tree. She's done with you. You wait I until the night falls. Says the, the person. The DM, the, the DM railroads you and says, "When night falls." <laughs> You consult the map, and indeed, by the light of the stars and the moon, it traces out a silvery magical path that doesn't make any logical sense. There are twists and turns that, you know, you go around one tree and hit a path, and then you go back one way and then back the other, and it doesn't make any sense. But at the end, you find yourself in this clearing here. And just as the sun rises, you arrive in a clearing. The roots. Sunlight dapples against the soft leaves as morning comes as you travel through the idyllic deadwood forest. The deal should have been quiet, right? It was called the deadwood forest. As day breaks... Birds flit between branches and squirrels scamper past. At last, the forest parts to reveal the towering all tree. It does exist. 
reaching hundreds of feet high. The rough, rustling of leaves and branches creates a calming symphony of sound. Birds, any dart. owls? Yep, there's owls everywhere. You're See, I told you it's, owl, it's owl tree. <laughs> Birds dart in and out of the thick foliage at the top, and dozens of different animal tracks stamp the soft dirt along the ground. Um, you notice about a hundred feet up, a ledge juts out from the trunk. You're probably about two hundred feet away from it right now. Hmm. Limitations of the map. Hmm. Does it look like there's any particular way to, like, you know? Like, like a set of ascending steps, or a ladder, or, you know, a big door. You don't see a door. A door You're... in the tree. Yeah, you didn't really ask Shalane about how to get in now, did you? Unfortunate. <laughs> That's going to be a problem. Hmm. I can always hack it. And it's think that's show mind, so... I'm I'm just gonna go. Well, I can think on a sober mind, so I'm gonna start drinking again. All right. But we're like a hundred feet away from said tree. Yeah, as you get about a hundred feet away from the tree, um, everybody make an investigation check for me. Oh, I'm only <laughs> half proficient in that. I'm not even. I'm. Oh, I'm actually I'm a proficient in that. <laughs> Six. Half. <laughs> I don't even have good intelligence either. Maybe it's the booze, Tella. <laughs> but as you're you're walking forward, you're you've been drinking all all morning. And as you're approaching the tree, your eyes kind of lose focus a little bit. And for just a, a split second, you see something. Um, I'm going to whisper it to you in. Your, your eyes lose focus for a second. And that is what you see. Jesus Christ, I've been drinking too much. Wow. Maybe it's time you sober up. No. No, maybe it's hey, kind of better if I He usually doesn't notice anything when he's not drunk. Just keep him pl I'm gonna keep plying him with drinks so he actually notices stuff. Oh, uh, no, it's de probably definitely the alcohol or I'm just tr absolutely tripping fucking balls. But, uh, this place honest. isn't alive. I mean, that's it's why probably the why they call it the dead wood. No, 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 no. Isn't 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 there are no squirrels? There are no owls. There's nothing here. It's rotten. It's grey, desiccated. There's there's nothing alive. Yeah. Um. As he describes this to you guys, you start to see the same thing. You unfocus your eyes and this beautiful forest you've been traveling in, um, you notice that the trees around you are blanched like lifeless flesh. The ground is littered with skeletons. The, the twitter of birds and everything that you've been listening to, it's silence. Um, is it possible to get drunk off fumes? Weirdly, though, you still do see some animals as you approach the tree. You see, um, well, you see animal tracks. Hmm. Yes, well, uh, as much knowledge as I have, I'm not good on animal tracks and anything natural, so I'll leave that to you, to you guys. Um, does the tree, does that look like it's, you know, does that look as bad as everything else, or does the tree still look the same? If anything, it looks possibly worse. 
So I'm gonna go over to oh. these tracks and take a look. Does it look like any big Give me a animal? Per- it's all small animals. Give me a perception check, please. Ah, I'm also half proficient in that, guys. I mean, Bart. <laughs> that it's anything better than a ten is good enough, there, Gob. You God, notice. Um, there's a lot of different tracks. Um, you see um, animal tracks. You see looks like maybe bluebirds, frogs, geese, foxes, squirrels, turkeys, rabbits, skunks, beavers, groundhogs, ducks. You see all kinds of little animal tracks that are moving through this space between these two big roots that you hear. I'm pinging on the map where you see the, the tracks. Um, you do notice... Um, sorry, map? Oh, let me let me activate the map. Here, we'll do this. Thank you. The <laughs> map. <laughs> yeah, all this has been talked up to this point. Here we go. You do come upon a map ah. here. There we go. Yay. You, come upon, you come upon a map. Yes. You wipe it off. Um, (laughs) (laughs) What you notice with your perception check is that um, among all those animal traps, tracks, there are three three sets of tracks that look like they're depressed deeper into the dirt than the rest. You notice some bird tracks that look like they're deeper and fresher. Looks like a bluebird. You notice the tracks of a fox and the tracks of a rabbit. Um, The tracks of the rabbit go right up to here and they stop. Hmm. Hmm. And as you watch, even though this whole area is now gray and desiccated around you, you see an animal hops out over one of these roots over here. Um, It's a frog, and it just starts hopping its way across right in front of you. It pays you no mind. What is hopping its way across. That my uneducated friend is a frog. It just oh, hops across you. I know that. I'm a couple of seconds it's... later, you see, um, you do see a fox again coming across. Kind of weird. Pays you no mind. Like you're like you're not even there. Goes hither and yon crosses your path here. A moment later, you do see a rabbit coming this way across. Oh, look, lunch. I love rabbits. They're so cute. They're rather delicious as well, but... Now's maybe not the time to be talking about your, uh, your dinner. Why not? We we don't know what when we'll we will be eating next. You should probably hunt for stuff. Exactly. You also notice the tracks of as you're looking at the tracks closely, you notice the fox tracks also end up kind of right here. As do the tracks mm-hmm. of the bluebird. The tracks are deepest here, here, and here. Rabbit, fox, and bluebird. Gonna make you see a squirrel comes out and it's starting to cross over. It's walking right in front of you. It pays you no mind. It is right here. Yeah, they think it likes you. It's, 
so cute. Oh. I and have half a mind to kick it. Okay. Do you want to kick it? Yeah. No. You Why? kick. You kick the squirrel. How could you do that? That's just cool. So cute. Yes, it looks doing? delectable, but it's also delightfully cute. Okay, this is interesting. Cassandra, when you, when you kick the squirrel, mm -hmm. it gobbles like a turkey. And then it turns into a goose and continues going on its way. Oh, look, it's a gustarian. Okay, that's <laughs> not normal. You felt oh, your foot in normal. contact with it. You kicked it. It altered its course a little bit. And when you kicked the squirrel, it flashed and it transformed into a goose while gobbling like a turkey. Oh, mm. oh that's interesting. Yep. Very interesting. But okay, I'm not sure we want I want to hunt for food here anymore because we don't we know we, we don't know what we'll catch. No, no, think about you it. Think about it. What if you catch something and you keep hitting it and hitting it until it turns into a deer? Then you kill it and you ha now have a deer. Oh dear oh dear. A, you do see oh, um, wow, you're so funny. <laughs> Yeah, you do see more animals crossing your path. It's actually weirdly enough, you saw um, you saw a fox a moment ago. Make a perception check. All of us, or yeah, all of you can make a perception check. Woo! Good number. <laughs> Go. You would swear that a moment ago you saw the exact same fox walk the exact same path roughly 60 seconds ago. I want to walk up right into its path. And you walk up right into its path. To see whether or not it like tries to go through me or... If it of you know averts past or decides to pay me some heathens. It bumps up against you as you block its path. And as it bumps up against you, it there's a flash of light, it chitters like a squirrel and turns into a goose and then goes around you and continues on. I'm immediately then going to like move in behind to where like another place on its path and see if it will change again or if it's just that a one time the, that fox that fox um is well that was a squirrel wasn't it i'm sorry no that was a fox you watch there's a constant parade of animals going by what are you doing to them is it one by one these animals or is it like you know small groups you know, as you're watching them, you notice this is basically it's they're like on a loop. You see a bluebird, it's hopping along. You block it. Go ahead. Can I, can I try and figure if there oh if there's something magical going on here? Yes, I think I that's fairly fucking obvious. I like no no reason like if I can figure out what kind of spells being used or unclear, but you know something weird is going on. Hmm. Well, Ooh, like, you do can, I, can I can I kick another creature to see if it also turns into a goose? Because sure. I'm not noticing that, that if you touch them, they all turn into a goose at the end or something. What you do know is right here at the base of the tree, you've got rabbit tracks. Um, rabbit, fox, and bluebird, was it not? Rabbit, fox, and bluebird. Um, what is, so, yeah, if you, you want to kick another animal. Mm -hmm. Kick okay. it to me. I want to yes, catch. please. Okay. Cassandra, you see a, a, Cassandra, you see a beaver trundling its way across right here. Hmm. I'm going to kick it. it turns into <laughs> I'm going to kick it. It turns <laughs> into a fox. What do you do? Kick it again. That's no. You're making, you're making physical contact with you. You're making physical contact with it. It's kind of just walking on at the same pace. Catch Fox it. is now here. 
writing. I'm, I'm going to catch it then. Okay, Cassandra, you pick up the fox. You're holding a fox. It's, but it's as sterile. you're holding it in your hands, it's not acting much like an animal. It's kind of it's it's, it's kind of it doesn't feel quite real to you in your hands, but you've got a fox in your hands. Keep a hold of that one. Okay. Don't let it go. Just hold on to that. I've got an idea. If we find two more that aren't quite the same since the tracks start here, what if we try putting them where the tracks start and then see what happens then? Go ahead. I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna catch some more. We just need okay. to eventually. Do we... Eventually. It. Yeah. Eventually, you go around kicking animals. <laughs> that, you, know, like animal <laughs> you kick animals you kick a goose the goose becomes a rabbit you catch the rabbit and Just be the bluebird you kick a turkey the turkey becomes a bluebird so now you have a, you have a fox a rabbit and a bluebird in your possession as you pick them up they are kind of like it's almost like they're taxidermy. They're not moving once you're holding them in your hands. Hmm. Place down the rabbit, and we'll see if it follows the pair. I, okay. I shall. Where are you putting the rabbit, exactly? Uh, where the rabbit tracks start at the base of this tree. Okay, it looks like... like the rabbit tracks actually end at the base of the tree, but as you place the oh. rabbit down, there is a satisfying... Like... You look at the rabbit, and you look at the tracks on the ground, and the way the rabbit's feet are placed right here looks like they fit in almost like a puzzle piece. Hmm. Mm. Click. Oh. I was never very, 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 that good at puzzles. I never thought a uh, rabbit sounds like clicking noise. So I much prefer rabbit, yeah, the rabbit, the, click, the rabbit clicks into place at the base of the tree. Bring the rest. I think we found the keys. Okay. Nice. Whose idea was it to place the, the animals in the tracks? Uh, that was Telly's. Telly? Take a, I'm, I'm going to give, give you a point <laughs> of inspiration for figuring nice. it out. Nice. I'm being As smart. As you one. place the final animal, taxidermy animal, into place. Oh. A door opens. It's Ooh. one with the tree. Look at me being smart, guys. I know, I know. I'm not normally this smart, am I? There you go. Let's uh, make our way into the tree. Mm. Yes, oh. let's, let's, let's enter. Very yeah. cautiously start making my way towards the uh, the door here. I'm just gonna go inside and... I'm, not, I'm also just gonna casually anything. walk inside. No caution, like throw caution to the wind, just casually walk inside. Mm. Okay, you guys can move your tokens, right? No, no. it's set to combat mode. I... Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. Where is the combat going on here? There's none. I think it's just a monk's token or something. Oh yeah, here we go. You're good to go. My bad. I wish somebody had said that sooner. All right. Hold still once you get there. Let's okay. not everybody run away at once. Maybe Just... monks it's withered <laughs> vines crawl up the walls of this entryway. A carpet of thousands of dead leaves smothers the ground. Cassandra, right in front of you, a massive fissure divides the room in half. Can you all see? Is your vision yeah. good here? Mm -hmm. nope, I, I cannot see anything <laughs> at all. Really, Telly? No, no, I can see. Vision. I can see. It. I can see everything back here, but I don't have dark vision, so I can't see anything. Oh, you don't have dark vision. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Scottish, <laughs> Scottish vision. And no devil <laughs> <thing. laughs> no sight. So get doesn't have. Dark vision? Yeah. Like, really? Yeah, normally, normally, uh, if I was pl uh, making it myself, I'd immediately give the warlock devil sight because I know I wouldn't play something that would have dark vision with a warlock. You know what you need is some but, torches. Yeah, and I don't have torches either. 
<laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna stipulate as a. I have a lamp, so I'll, I'll give you my lamp. Nice. Thank you. Here, Thank you. I will give you some equipment. Um. Here. Items. Awesome. Items. SRD. I will also I pull because I, I I don't you know I have daggers and shit so I'll pull out my lamp and you know give it a little lighting. Um, nice. A massive fissure divides the room in half, and you hear Ooh. Cassandra right in front of you. Mm -hmm. This is oddly appropriate. I love it. You hear a faint whimper from deep within that fissure. On the far side of the crevice, crevice, an unlit brazier squats with a chunk of coal inside. That's right here. But from somewhere within this fissure, Cassandra, you hear a little whimper noise. Oh, I, I hear food. <laughs> mm. It's a 30 feet range. Can I... Turn the thing on with bridge card, like put it on, put it, nice. turn it on. What do you want to do? Can I druid craft like the brazier? Like, you want to light the coal? Fire? Sure. Yeah, I yeah it can be useful. I know how to do spells too. <laughs> Being all proud. Well done, dear. Do all of it. I'm gonna be actually like really like supportive. I'm like the supportive drunk bestie, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you support like, your drunk like bestie in this campaign and the same in the other one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so right, like you guys, my wife needs my wife needs something. I'll be right back. Hang on. Yep. There, you light the brazier. No, never there been you go. before. It glows with a friendly light. But the crevice is still pretty deep and dark. You can't really see all that down that deep. It's a lot more homey now, you know? And I, I can really see it now. What with all the, uh, like, desiccation, you know? It feels oh, really this homey. door should be closed. Sorry. We'll close that door. Okay. I'll just pretend I never saw the owlbear. Oh, that was. <laughs> Hush. <laughs> No meta, I'll take your inspiration away. Okay, I'll You hear from I'll down wait. here, though, you do hear a faint noise within the crevice, Cassandra. Ooh, I hear something. You're too Eep. big. In the... Eep. Look down. Too big to go down the hole. Maybe we can find I'm, some I'm, stairs. I'm going to listen and try and see if I can hear what she's hearing. Eep. Hear Eep. Eep. Hello? Anyone down there? Something's maybe, down there. You've got his attention. Maybe it's the maybe it's the uh the uh aimless that the uh old lady was going on about. You know that that that's... Anus? Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe. Hey, you know, are you are you are you anus? Maybe there's some stairs. Do you no, like it's taking it's just a crack in the ground? ground. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna shout down. Do you like taking it up the rear? How high are there like this roots on the there's, floor? There's there's vines. Yeah, there's vines, vines and I mean... roots. You're also adventurers. I'm gonna stipulate that you have standard adventuring gear such as. Yeah, but why would we need to use the rope if I can cut the vines down? <laughs> you, know, the, you know the rope is sturdy and reliable. You don't know how old these rope these vines are. I mean, I mean, we if can, a, if we can let can you go first. Use this. Use a small yeah. one. <laughs> exactly. I'm, you you can go first. You could fit in there quite easily. Look, I'm I'm all for finding the stairs. No, it's, it's a crack in the ground. Are you afraid of? Any are you afraid of the huts? No, mm. I just think there's a reasonable and logical way to do things, and slipping down a crack in cement in the middle of a tree is probably not the best idea. It's not cemented. Well, better, wood. better than oh. stepping on the crack, because if you did that, your mother's back would be broken. Eep! Also, you're slimmer. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm, I may be slimmer, but who cares? You're smaller. <laughs> Funnier. You're stronger. See, listen. I can be strong as strong as I like. You don't need to be strong to go down a rope. You only need to be strong to go up a rope. How far down can I see? I don't know. How far down can you see? I have that dark vision 60 feet, I think. You can see there's something down there moving. It's it's. You see something moving down there. It's hard to tell. There's a bunch of debris and stuff. Don't want to spoil all the fun. You see something small, tiny, even moving down there. Hmm. Maybe it's a puppy. I highly doubt it. it's a puppy. What if it is though? Don't you want to go down there and stroke the puppy? No, given that we kicked a goo, a a a a a a, 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 a like a, a rabbit, and it it squeak like a goose. No, I do not believe oh. that that's truly a puppy. Cassandra, he's no fun, isn't he? No, he's not. You're right. I'm cautious. There's a difference. Okay, mm, you can be fun and cautious at the same time. It isn't hard. You are free to do whatever you like. You hurt my brain, friend. You hurt my brain. Mm. You do see a passage also. You know, going it's, this you way. it's impossible to hurt someone's brain. And you see a door here. <laughs> Unless it's an insulin devourer and it can devour your brain, yeah. <laughs> no, no. I, when I say that, I mean, like, quite literally, you can't hurt someone's brain. There's no nerve endings in it. Yeah, the brain here does have no nerve endings. You don't feel it when somebody pokes your brain. This is true. Exactly. Let, let me rephrase. Every time I have to speak to you, I suffer psychic damage. Hmm. You suffer psychic damage all the time. Besides, there are other things. I don't believe anything that's in there could be good. What if it's fine? Let's try to find I mean, the animals last time were the puzzle pieces. What if the puzzle piece this time is this animal down here? Okay, Cassandra, what are you doing to try to find it? I can take a piece of the a piece of one vine and I'm gonna light it on fire at the end and just slowly put, put, put. lower it down you do you, you light up a, yeah see? easily enough you see something looking up at you by the firelight hello oddly appropriate it looks back up at you and says eep eep Oh, it's Aww, so cute! That's cute! Puppy, I told you, it's like a puppy! It's so cute! Come on, you've been saying owl this whole time, so I just thought it's oddly appropriate. Aww! <laughs> it's down there, it's stuck down there. It's definitely not food, that's too adorable to be food. Yeah. It's not too adorable to be vicious. Yeah, I don't care yeah. if it is. We have to help it. Look, it's stuck. Yeah. It's starve. Come on, let's go find a way downstairs. Yes. There's no stairs. It's a crack in the ground. I mean, is there like any way down? Oh, can I? Oh, can I, oh, I see pathways. stairs. See, I see stairs. They go up, <laughs> dear. They go up. Can oh. I, can I estimate mm -hmm. how far away this is? What is? Like, how far down this is. 20 feet. 20 feet. Uh, can I make an estimate on how heavy this creature is? Four pounds. What's that in real units? I believe that would work. <laughs> Mage! <laughs> two... <laughs> less, slightly less than two kilograms. Hmm. Aww. I believe that would work. Yeah, Aww. Mage Hand would absolutely work. So I'm gonna <laughs> ask Mage Hand, which, because... Of Five pounds, being, yes. Being a githerite, it's invisible. So I'm basically just telekinetically lifting it out. It's Leisure Ma. True to your name, you bring up this little fella. There we go, see? You didn't need to go down the hole. Are you happy now, Goob? 
You could do that the whole time. You wanted me to go down the hall. I couldn't you see how far down it was. Before. Just, you, you're holding it in your mage hand, you're putting it on the ground. What are you doing with this thing? Give it I'm to going me. To... Look at it, how cute it is. I'm going, I'm going to, to uh... squish it. <laughs> no, no, you, we're not squishing it today. I'm going to like, lift it up out of her reach. No. Push, no squishing. Push. No squishing. Cute. If you squish it, it will die, Cassandra. I can I can be gentle. You're holding it in your mage hand, it's kind of scrabbling around. I'm going <laughs> to then lift it, it, it like into my arms and like carry it like you'd carry a like a small puppy. Okay, it's it's struggling against you a little bit. It wants okay. to get away. No, no, we have we have to find your mummy. We have to find your mummy. Calm down. Calm beep, down. Beep, I'm going beep, to... beep, No, we really beep, don't. Beep, beep, beep. It's 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 like struggling, kind of like a somewhat not quite tame animal. We we are. Uh, I'm going to find some food. <laughs> oh, <for it's> food. <laughs> Give it food. Give it food. It starts mowing the food like it hasn't eaten in a couple of days. Probably. It settles it down, down a little bit. Absolutely. This little this poor little guy was stuck down there. Yeah. And you yeah. didn't want to save it, Goob. You yeah, heartless good. monster. You got them right. You know, I didn't want to save it. I see what those things turn into. No, no, no thank no, you. No, 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 shut up, you heartless monster. It's looking. It's still kind of struggling against you, and it's looking down towards the south. Is oh, your mummy down there? Mama's? I'm going to move over the fissure. And... No problem. It's narrow in spots, so you can step right over it with no danger whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna place it down and see if it goes towards the door. It runs towards the door and starts scratching at the door. I guess I'll go open the beep, door. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, ah, there well. you go. See? There's your mama. There's you mama. do what you see when you open the door. Is, um... As you open the door, you, you catch the tail end of somebody singing. It sounds like a lullaby, kind of being crooned. And um, the baby owl bear scratches at the door until it's let in. And then um, you open the door, it darts through, and it runs up and it climbs up onto this fella here. And nuzzles into the fur of the big ass owl bear that is right there. Aww. Fur feathers, furthers, I don't even know. Oh. Only a few books remain askew amidst rows of empty shelves lining the walls. Putrid mounds oh, of waste. About books. Putrid mounds of waste litter the ground. Two imposing beasts squat on a frayed rug. Thick feathers bristling along their backs and razor sharp beaks snapping. An elven man sits cross legged between them, humming. Pinned to his vest is a brooch in the shape of a crescent moon. And this guy looks at you and um, he looks at you and he kind of smiles. He does not look his best. Does he look as old as that? He um, looks pretty old. Do you see him there? I just posted him. Mm. Oh, you oh, look oh. old as fuck. Oh, I say out loud. Double shout Cassandra. over an Elvis. In a booming <laughs> Double shout over an Elvis. I'm, I'm, you seen better days. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tap Cassandra. And be like, be nice, dear. Come on. I... But don't stand in the truth. Look at how old he is. Yes, it, it, yes he may. It, he might be the, an older gentleman. However, be polite. I see you you've know. brought Eep back to us. I feared him lost. He says back to you in Elvish. Who else understands Elvish? Nope. <laughs> no. I, I got. So. I got. I got weird and wackier. <laughs> I'm pretty Languages. sure you don't even speak Geth, which is like you know. No, the Geth I don't. I don't. I speak abyssal, common, deep speech, and primordial. Giant and infernal and common for me. So who that, spoke that, to him in Elvish? Gob. Oh, Gob said something. He says, um... You've seen better days. 
Yeah, and he says, I, I see you've, you've brought Eep back to me. I, I feared him lost. His parents are pleased. As you look, you can see that the the two owlbears, they are, they're like chained in place. Um, you don't see the release mechanism. It's not immediately apparent. But um, he says... Um, I mean, he was right over there. You could have he moved says, it to find it. He says, do all of you speak Elvish? And he looks at you expectantly. Oh, yes, they, they very um, much understand everything we are saying. Don't worry, they're I'm just a quiet speak, type. I'm gonna speak, uh, I'm ah, speak very good guy. then. No. Uh, uh, hello? I don't quite understand what you're saying, but hello? His Elvish is a little rusty. Oh, the Elvish is rusty. Um, he and switches over, gonna... switches over to common. It's rather archaic common, probably old English. From yeah, from yeah. literally I... hundreds of uh, years like, ago. Like, how thou art thou? thou? I, I am. Romeo, Romeo, where for art thou, Romeo? I am Isos. Welcome to the All Tree, isn't it? Beautiful and glorious. I'm gonna be yeah, six honest. out of ten. Yeah. I'm kind of like freaking out. Uh, I thought this place was just a myth. What do you mean? This is my home. It is beautiful this is... here. It is. Yeah. I mean, splendid I mean, and this full is... of splendid That's... and full of life. I mean, like, as a researcher, this is, like, one of the greatest accomplishments of my life is being here. You're a researcher? In this moment. I didn't yeah, know some um, stage this place, is, stage. this place is very real. Um, you, but honestly, it's, it's not what you expect. Um, you're expecting a beautiful, vibrant living tree. And what you are seeing is again is putrid mounds of waste litter the wall. Everything is like rot and decay. But Isos has just told you, isn't it beautiful? Welcome to my beautiful home. I mean, one could say it is beautiful, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Come, come. Yes, that it can be beautiful. He is wearing again a brooch in the shape of a crescent moon. Um, he says, um, I'm Does so glad you, no, mm. so Good glad idea. you brought Eep back to us. What's the reward for bringing back Eep? Oh, ah, gosh. The satisfaction of, of reuniting a family. Isn't that enough reward? Exactly, no. Goob. You don't need reward everything. I'm sorry for him. He's a very greedy but little man. we need a good song. It must be a tale spun. And they all lived happily ever after is by far the worst ending, which to be honest, for someone like you is possibly the best ending you will ever receive. Hmm. No, the best ending I'll ever receive is a large bottle of alcohol. Like I said, happily ever after. That's not happily ever after. It is for you. No. No. No, well, if it is wine you think, maybe Enka could get you something. Oh, she's that would a, be lovely. She's upstairs, you know, in the barracks. Well, I'll make sure to find her later on after this conversation, then. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. Um, I'm here with my books and my pets. It's nice here. I like it here. Okay. We'll be on our way. And so yes. soon. Noob, can you try not to be socially awkward? I mean, for crying there's, out there's loud. Just more to, there's just more to be seen here. And frankly, let's be honest, the elven man sitting in the room humming songs to Albers, it's, um... It's, uh, it's one note. It's absolutely adorable. Yes, yeah. but it's one note. Can you see that? Friend. You, my friends, need to broaden your spectrum. And I'm doing that by looking through the rest of the tree. This is not broadening my spectrum. No. 
No, broadening your spectrum of learning how to be nice to others. Have you? You guys are staying outside of the room still. Is that what you're doing? No one. Like uh, guys, I'm at the back of the queue, so I'm just there. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, Kelly, you are really the only the one. Stairs. You're the only one who can see clearly. Give me a, a perception check. Okie dokie. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I see so much. I see such <laughs> snow shapes <laughs> and colors, you know? Fields of blue, skies of green. I uh, see trees of green. Thanks for playing, yeah. Um, <laughs> nothing, nothing of interest at this point. Too. Yeah. Says, um... He mentioned somebody, Enka, upstairs. Anything else you want to know? Um, I'm just here with my pets and my books. I study. I take care of these lovely pets. Maybe it goes to Enka. I'll walk up and get my hand on the door. No, I think we're good for now. I will go and see your friend. Enjoy your time. I kind of close the door and turn around. As you're making a, as you're closing the door, make a perception check. Uh, oh, baby, that's an eighteen. Ooh. Beautiful. Is you that notice, it'd be funny. As you're as you're closing the door, God, you're you're noticing that this guy's hands are under his robe that he's sitting in his chair, he's and you notice. Off. You notice that the chains that are attached to the owl bears are also terminating somewhere under his robes, and his hands are busy doing something as you close the door. Turn around. Well, well. You say it's cute. That man has two highly dangerous creatures in chains. But yes cute and not at all psychotic scary or something we should all be worried about let's go see what's going on upstairs now and you, can, you can also get your you can also get your bottle of wine you cassandra oh, make a perception check before you move away from the spot you were just at too okay Ten. Ten? Mm. Nothing. Okay, continue on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoa, I went too far then. I'm going too far. <laughs> What's you, going so on? You, like, zoomed all the way in or something? No, I'm, I'm zoomed fairly far out. After you was... No, for being so. No, hang on a second, Cassandra. Let him go first. He was rude. Uh, and you're the one I'm who wishes here. to I'm have an on alcohol the... drink. As I said many Look, times before, a door! I, I don't I see need a door. Drink. I just choose to. Hmm. Why don't you, Why don't we go towards the door? Let's see who's behind this door. Look, another owl bear. You see, this guy yeah. has moved, and the owl bears are off the chains, and he has opened the door that you had gone through before. He is so going to. The, these were in the stairs up. The stairs up. Okay. Okay. So, this is another angle in that same room. Yeah. There's more though. There's a hallway still that continues on. Okay. Okay, so it's the same guy. Pretty boring. He did not notice you open the door. <laughs> Everybody, hold there. I'm gonna boop you to another level. He's moving. Good. I wonder why he's moving. He seemed quite content to stay there. Good running away, because two owl bears could have definitely fucked you up. Everybody hold tight. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I guess me being rude, you know. It's okay. It's all right. I'll take your warm welcome no, and being... congratulations later on. No, Thank you. 
you can take you can take my fist plunging through your cold dead arm. Well, he's you mean he's all dead nuts. No, I mean that he's being rude to a, po a lovely old man. He didn't I somehow to don't be think the cursed. the elf. I somehow don't think the elf in the dead wood that's apparently cursed is a lovely old man. I just he was don't being see polite. it. He was yes, polite. and hags at are polite. He has, at you least make... he has basic manners, unlike you. You make your way up the stairs. Can you see the map? Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's currently loading in for me. I've got like 2% left, but it's just taking a while. Doors! Closed. Cassandra, oh. the door to the north of you, as you touch the handle, you notice it's A, it is very locked. And, Cassandra, it is also quite, it is a steel door in a wooden tree, it is also quite cold to the touch. That's cold. I'm gonna try refreshing it. Is it? I reckon it's probably crashed. Yeah, somebody's, you're not even in it, Elijah. Take yeah. Your, uh, take one of these and call me in the morning. While you're refreshing, I gotta let the dogs in, I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, no, it's just loaded as I've refreshed. Great. I love it when things do that, you know? Like, it's not loading for ages, so you're, oh, looks like it's crashed. And then I'll refresh it. And he goes, yeah, bitch. I hate you it when Mad Mage does that. Yeah, because it's just, like, so freaking, because it's like, I've been sat here for a good, like, couple minutes waiting. It's like, oh, normally it loads really fast. Okay, refresh. And it just then decides to load. I'm like, oh, you bitch. <laughs> it's so rude. <laughs> oh, love the hay, lovely weather. Hi. I want to go back to 2016 and stop them killing Harambe, but unfortunately, that's a canon event. Of course, it is. I love how, like, so much shit. Like, people, people are, oh, this happened and that happened, and it's like, how did that happen? Oh, because some kid got a Harambe killed. <laughs> that, that's what sparked everything, you know? That's why COVID happened, because Harambe was killed. God, God did not like that. Harambe was his greatest creation, you know? Okay, I'm gonna sound real stupid here, but who's Harambe? All right. Wow. Okay. Right, no, Harambe's, Harambe's Did you just rage for no reason? Did I see that, Cassandra? No, I hmm? gave her a bardic inspiration. Oh, you gave her a bardic inspiration. So uh, I can keep Harambe, the, lock, the door down? Harambe is the uh, gorilla that got shot. For, he technically rescued a little boy. But, but because he was a gorilla. Hmm. Okay, they went, yeah. You know, so basically, racism. So the door to the north is locked. There is another door to the south. I'm going to try to kick, kick the it door and... open. <laughs> kick it and exactly. You're going to kick the door? Yeah. Okay, give me a strength check. It is a steel door. Quick, Telly. Get the help action. I, I will help by, uh, like, you know, suddenly disappearing and, like, just not reappearing for ages. And the D I disappeared Indeed. like my own father did. Your foot hurts. There we go. It's loaded. I'm gonna admit that and just start and just kicking. <laughs> I'm gonna door, get it one of these days. The door makes a obvious loud booming noise as you kick it. Bong. How about we just like knock Bong. on the door? See if there's someone in. And too late now, you've kicked the door. You can't keep on making strength checks. It's not going to make any difference. Okay. Oh, that. how silly of you to have fallen on such a odd place. You open it then if you can. You have fallen. I will help you up. Get a wide-eyed and looking nod. 
Go ahead. Go right ahead. I'm you know, um, idiots. The door remains locked. Gonna, gonna reach in and just whisper. In case someone thinks we're trying to break in, you have fallen and I am helping you up. It's called plausible deniability. Uh -huh. I'm just going to look at him and go, I'm just going to look at him and go, you know, you really are a creep. I got to do something real quick. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, freaking dogs. Oh, I'm, sorry. I'm just going to, I'm just If gonna... someone comes here and goes, oh, are you trying to kick in my door? We can then say, no, she fell. She may not have fallen, but at least that way it doesn't look like we're trying to kick in a door. Or maybe it's just locked because they don't want you in there. Ever thought about that? Honestly. Yes, but it's a cursed forest, so therefore we kind of want Doesn't to know mean that what's you get in there. Whatever the fuck you want. Excuse me, both of us went through here and you don't. You are the minority here. You okay. stand by the door for a couple minutes. You're both taller happens. than you. You're also a minority. No, I'm a miniature. No, minority. Also, the technical term for it milk. is midget. He does need to drink more milk, doesn't he? Yeah. Or maybe alcohol. He'll grow up with more. I drink lots of alcohol, and I'm quite tall, so maybe it's that. What's Elk going on with that door you. behind you? Door behind me? Oh, there's another door? Oh, cool, okay. I'm just gonna, like, oh, th this move one is this door and not... Like, any, any normal cute person would. I'm just gonna... Hello, anybody home? Oh, skipping! You're knocking on the door, <laughs> Kelly? Yeah, like, on this one. Hold the just... cold door? Yeah, the steel door, just like, just basic knock. Just, like, not, uh, not the spell, just like, actual physical knocking. No, no response, nothing. Oh, look at you. See? You have had See? to put your hand on the no door home. because you are exhausted. Honestly, honestly. You're a bard of eloquence and yet you sound like a common creep. Uh, again, you're the creepy Please. one here. You can't function without I'm alcohol. Really... I can, I just choose to drink it. I've told you this many times. That I can stop when I want to and I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem. I don't see what your point is. Cassandra, do I have a problem? With him being so short? Oh yes, I have a problem with him being short. It's rather funny actually. Just <laughs> let's... I, I call it I call it I call it Goob's tiny problem. Let's move forward before it's too ah. late and we all die a horrible and painful death. That's what they Oh, honestly, stop being so pessimistic. Live a little. <laughs> it wouldn't yeah. kill you. Maybe in your case oh, it would. I'm out here. It definitely isn't killing me. Cassandra, as you move down the hallway, you see a guy looking through a window. The large booming sound Jesus fucking Christ. alerted this guy to your presence as you make eye contact with him. He taps hey. on the glass, tink, 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 and then he does a little thumb point and he kind of jerks his thumb over. Oh my God, Pat, just stop. My dog is begging over in mm -hmm. this direction and kind of like thumb points his head and jerks his thumb and says like universal symbol for over that way please thank you hmm uh, from that picture he looks like a uh, very very uh pleasant person you look um uh, it's fucking well you can look at him as you cash. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I just like he just like st stared into my soul just then, like not yeah. not Telly's like my physical soul. Yeah, mine. yeah, I'm, I'm feeling that as well. 
It's unsettling. <laughs> Looking at him. Here, we'll post that Thank again you. real quick. Looking at him, no thanks. I don't want to. Please do, Why please not? do. I want, I want, I'm gonna have a staring contest with this dude. I'm gonna have a staring contest with him. Stay the guy to cut his eyelids off to win those. You, you, you even get a make a perception check, everybody. Oh. Uh, see what I'll see him. Mm -hmm. I can just about see him. Well, at some point you're all gonna see him. He's watching as you pass by. It's so good at perception. Gob, you know about cosmetics. Um, it looks like this underneath all of the black skin. This looks like charcoal. Vex, you get the same kind of idea. Or Cassandra. This is this 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 is an elf underneath all of this. They're it's wearing their, their make their their skin has been covered over the charcoal. There's red paint. They've done there's something over their eyes to alter the appearance. Um they That's some nice makeup you got here. It's definitely makeup applied in a ritualistic manner. Walk As by you balk at him, he kind of jerks his finger and head over again, like, get over that way. You can see through the window as you pass by the area, though, too. Give him like a thumbs up and like... <laughs> so you can also see what you see, so seeing into the room, you can see what you see. Go, hmm. can you see this guy over here? Yep, I can see Harry Potter over there. <laughs> yeah, you see this guy. He is, um... He looks human. He looks a little unhappy. Is he looking like his name's Rashid? Ramesh? Ramesh. Possibly. Yeah. Oh, so I Anus. Anus. Don't forget, his name is Anus. No, 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 he likes anal, not that he's an anus. Anal, he likes ah, anal. anal. He, he likes looks, it, you know? He looks like that. He is clutching, like, a... A knapsack to his chest. He's kind of sitting by himself. You see some other people. You can see this elvish lady in here. Ooh, she looks cute. And you see a couple more people dressed like the guy that you saw poking through the window. I'm gonna. I would also mention that you are now pretty high up the tree. Those stairs took you quite a long way. Looking down, you're probably about a hundred something feet up, and you are on, out in the open air here on this ledge. How thick does that window look? Um, it looks pretty thick. You, I mean, you could maybe smash it and smash your way through if you wanted to. Please don't do anything stupid. I'm not yeah, even meant to that's be my department. One, that's not a very I just, I just good don't... idea. I think, I think if we go in there, I don't think we're getting out on good terms. And so, in the event of things going horribly wrong, maybe someone would like to put don't her worry. hands don't worry. through the window have... and, you know. Don't worry, if worst comes to worst, I have Shatter. It's perfectly fine. Yes, I can smell you, Shatter, but don't worry. <laughs> oh, again, you're so funny. Thank you, I you try to be. You, you're as dry yes, as we yes. hold paper, I'm gonna boom, 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 shut the door. You're as dry as my cold, dead corpse. Would you like to take a long, long fall? I would give you a long fall in a second. Oh, please don't put me out my misery. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> Little chap on the door. I'm you gonna turn to Cassandra and just go. You hear a, a female elvish voice say in common, Please enter. We've already heard you. You might as well see you as well. You and see another <sighs> elvish guy in black drag. Um, he kind of nods his head and gestures you in and then steps out of the way 
you do notice he has got um, he's got a scimitar by his side. He's wearing leather armor. Tarn. It's gonna. But he it's steps hard. aside for you to come in. What are those creepy ones in here? Oh, boo hoo! Their makeup is amazing. Yes, it's but they it? pierce it's your fun. soul. Oh, cry me a river. I mean, I could pierce so your sorry. skull with my with just my horns, if you ask me. Yes, to. but they're doing it with their eyes. Hello, hi, I lady. I pierce your soul with many things. She said, "This one." Goob, can we like enter the room a bit, please? Yeah, this. Yeah, thank you. Steps back if you room. Please come sit. Um, you notice there's this table. It's kind of like everything is covered again in rot. Um, the hallway curving out alongside the altar's trunk leads to the dormitory. Its tall windows providing a glimpse at the grim deadwood. Um, unless alerted by the characters making too much noise. Hmm. Um, <laughs> hmm, I wonder who could have done that. I don't think Kek's the fucking door. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna, mattresses... hmm, I wonder who could have done that in like a sarcastic but playful tone towards Cassandra. <laughs> Drooping mattresses Me? stained with age are <laughs> stuffed against the wall to make space for a round wooden table. A group of dark robed elves stand around. Um, at the table, it looks like there's dice and some coins. Slumped on a bed against the far wall is a human man with rumpled clothes and bags under his spectacled eyes, holding a knapsack tightly to his chest. That's rumpled skin. I'm going to him One, is a rumpled. one sconce start. dimly illuminates the space, re revealing puddles of water on the floor and cracks in the ceiling. Um... I'm going to turn to... The elves are wearing dark robes with an emblem of a purple wing on their shoulders. Does that mean Does that anything bring to us? Bell? Nope. Nice. I'm going to turn to this dude and go, Oh, hello. Uh, are you Ramesh? Uh, yes. How do you know my name? Uh, we, we met an old lady. She says uh, you're an analyst, apparently. Archaeologist. Oh, Get it right. Archaeologist. Oh, it was, it was very hard to understand what she was uh, saying, because she didn't quite know what it was either. So, the one that sounded most likely, or like it, was analyst at the time. So I was thinking, hmm, no judgment. I'm not, I'm not sure I like what you're implying. I'm not implying anything. I'm just simply uh, stating what I thought I'd heard. However, it's good to know that you're an archaeologist. I'm, I'm something of a researcher myself, a, a sage, per, per se. Hmm. Yeah, he likes smelling herbs a lot. I she, do. Um, yeah. This I'll lady smoothly, <laughs> she smoothly steps between you and Ramesh, and she says, I am Enka. We are uh, unused to having so many guests. Oh, I'm... Please do tell me what brings you to our beautiful all tree. I'm sorry, who? Enka? No, who asked? Oh, shut up, goob. Sorry about him, he's ever so rude. He's meant to be a bard of eloquence, you see, and clearly he, he his needs teachings to were a bit it. bad. Yes. What brings you here? Oh, we've come for a drink. Oh yes, uh, the, the, the lovely gentleman downstairs. He uh, recommended come up, coming up here for a drink. A bottle of wine, I believe he said. Yes. As a reward wine. for finding E? Something? Wine can be arranged, but what, um... What brings you to the all tree? This one here, she... We're she lost. gestures over her shoulder to Ramesh. Wants to study our ways. He says, um... We're he lost. Says he... He, has, he says he has something in his bag that he wants to try, but he's being a little shy. Oh. I mean, I well, understand it's... shy. Look at Goop. He's also very, yes. he's also very I'm shy. I'm very person. outgoing, thank you very much. 
Our, our small friend there is uh, rather socially awkward. Yeah. You I'm sorry, I don't, guess. I don't need to walk in and declare everywhere I go that I am a researcher who drinks a lot and, you know, I can keep myself to myself. I have secrets. You are I'm, an open yeah, book everything. that you just, read. I mean, is it not common for one no. to address someone as their profession? No, it's very much common to say, hello, my name is, and your name? And leave it at that. If you want to go into people's bibliography, you might as well take them out on a date. Now, hey, Peter, would you do like you to go on a date? Go on a date? I'd love to learn more about you then. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't catch anything anyone anyone said. <laughs> <laughs> we had the same idea in the exact same moment. Yeah. Well, do you want to freeze them? She's. Uh, wow. I mean, that could be um, arranged. She I'm not desperate, something. thank you. <laughs> when Cassandra looks like to learn more about ourselves and each other, we have to go on a date then, according to this uh, small Anka gentleman. Says something in Elvish. Huh? I wouldn't mind getting to know you better, and in I won't get to dialect talk. you don't quite understand. <laughs> and her, her guys. Um, there should be four of these guys in here reading this. She, Never mind. There are. There's, there's a guy by the window. One more. Oh yeah, one he comes there. out too. One there and one the she said something in Elvish, and I didn't understand it. It's a little it's sub dialect. It doesn't ah. sound pleasant. Like, uh, be on your guard with these people. Like, they're being, they're not. Um, it sounds it sounds you, harsh and potentially hostile. Is what I'll go with. Harsh and hostile, and you catch, like. Inflection. Make a perception check or an intelligence check. Oh, intelligence, my dump stat. Let's not go with that. Mm. Perception. <laughs> pee, 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 pee. That's a lot of pee -pees. Yeah. <laughs> she says something sounds a little harsh. Um, you notice... She's, you she's don't know what's you, don't notice, you don't notice anything. I'm saying, when you meet someone new, you don't need to go into your life story. It's simple, yes, hello, hi, how are you? We are here to help. You are here to help? I mean, if... if she relaxes a little respect. bit. She relaxes a little bit. How, are, how do you think you can help me? Our home here is lovely. We need nothing from the outside world. No, I, I was giving an example of how a normal conversation goes. Uh, I don't think we can help you because we don't quite know what you are doing but you know maybe if you let us know what you are doing we could see how we could help you i mean you know oh my goodness did an intelligent idea just come out of your mouth i'm of just course. gonna start talking in elvish now because it's gonna sound, oh, make, sound oh, more we're intelligent talking, we're talking in languages that we can't understand now okay i'm just gonna start talking deep speech instead I'm going to start talking giant. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can do it too. You're not that smart. Does anyone yeah. know what he's saying? No. I then switch back to common. No, that's the whole I thing. I said that in Elvish. Oh, okay. Never mind, then I didn't. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what are you doing? And maybe we can see how we can help. Because, you know... There's four strangers in your bedroom. And uh, I get the feeling that's maybe odd. Strange and rude. I'm trying to be polite, believe me. That makes one of you. You're trying to be polite. I'm, I'm just. An Elvish. Oh, wait, you're speaking Elvish, yeah. <laughs> I am I am speaking common to be polite, and now people are speaking languages I do not understand. I'm gonna. You are here. Me. You are here in our home. On our how do you say turf? And you are making uh, sex jokes and language jokes and other jokes. I do not appreciate it. I'm going to switch back to Colin and go, Oh, I apologize. Uh, me and Cassandra are just very, very open people. Yes. 
We are. Which you... um, Goob doesn't like a lot. No. What are you doing Please. here? Who sent you here? Why are you here? And you notice that the, the guys that are behind you, Cassandra, now they have their hands on their scimitar. Same thing with you, Telly. The guy right by you has a, his hand on his blade. They haven't drawn yet. And um, Enka has kind of put her cloak back. And you notice she's got a brace of daggers. Oh, we're just, we're just taking a hike. We just came to this place and we found the forest was very beautiful so we decided to take a walk deception in it. check please <laughs> <laughs> i think charisma is the dumb stat <laughs> no it's intelligence that ain't, that ain't too bad that ain't too bad do you expect me to believe that you're on a hike you come I mean, to a place that nobody can find she gestures over her shoulder. I did say we were you, lost. You, you, you know this one's name. You call him an analyst, and then you say, Oh, I was told you were an analyst. Somebody said an analyst or archaeologist. I couldn't understand what they were saying. You think I'm stupid. Why are you here? Last chance. Okay, we heard the uh, forest was cursed, and... I couldn't help myself. I I love researching. So I just wanted to learn a bit more about it. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? We took a hike. Look I, around. I don't the the tree is it's it's beautiful. It's thriving with nature. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so which is which is why I was interested when I heard the stories of it being cursed. Up until we got here you didn't believe it existed. Exactly. So the fact that I'm now here shows that it does exist. So now I'm even more curious on why it is cursed or how it could be cursed. Think about it. If I haven't been there before you... and it's only on the outside world, it's a miss. There is no curse here. I guess. Are you sure? I don't know. Are you sure? <laughs> she says there's no curse here. I don't yes, but know, are you that's sure I'm here. there's I no curse here? Then how about we take uh, that one points to... Yeah, how about we take that one uh, off your hands and we go back a merry way? He is, um... He is my guest here. He is, um... I have agreed to let him do his studies. There's, um... There's a lot of ums in your, in your words right I, now. I, I, I'm not sure if I should leave says, you. I'm Can I do there's, a, there's, there's a... There's a ritual he wants to try at this holy place with something he says he has in his possession. I am I am inclined to allow him, but it is no concern of yours. I, uh, as she says believe this, you I'm going to look at him. Hmm? As she says this, I'm going to look at him and just search for any sign of, like, distress or anything. Make a perception check. I believe you have a different oh, story. Yeah, I, I see so much. You guys are rolling like ass. Um... He mm. is clutching his knapsack tightly to his chest, and he is kind of like averting his gaze. He's clearly nervous and uncomfortable. Mm. He says, um, uh, I wouldn't mind going with them for a little while. I mean, I haven't talked to anybody here beside you guys for a couple days. So he's been here for days and he hasn't done his ritual? That's uh, odd. Maybe he needs time to prepare for it. Yes. By that, sitting that in the corner. But um, clutching his, clutching his uh, knapsack to prepare uh, would be rather strange. Has he, he been um, doing this the yeah. entire time? What's he preparing? Shaking? Um. 
who said the make uh make a pers- make a persuasion check since you're asking who are you asking who are you talking to like, who are you are you talking, talking to him or are you talking to her i mean there's oh i'm hmm who was i talking to out of curiosity <laughs> uh you started with the woman. Oh, yeah, yeah. You saying, yeah, a different story. I don't know. Cause, yeah, because it's a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. So okay, I'll hey, come uh, to her. Make a persuasion check. Oh, guys, I've got expertise in this. Yay! Woo! I got a plus ten. She. Yeah, you um, can't roll lower than a ten, so that's. She rolls her eyes and she says, "Ah." <sighs> He waits for the moon. There have been numerous nights in a week since there has been a moon for at least seven, maybe six times he since waits, he's been here. He waits for the new moon. The new moon happens tonight. Ah. Tonight is the night. The night Such a beautiful the night. New moon. The night is going to be the night I fall for you. <laughs> We all have different <laughs> songs. Oh. Uh, he, he's then, been teaching us songs. Then the um, bar, you know? may we mm-hmm. wait as well, and then once he's done what he has to do, we will take him on his merry way out of here, out of your hair. Does she have hair? She has no, hair. she's bald. Rules minds. <laughs> <laughs> Does that sound oh. fair? You still haven't told me what you're doing here. You have lied to me. He has lied to me. Hiking in the forest. Who sent I mean, you? We were. I don't actually know her name. Who was you I know her name. No, is it like, uh, like, like, just through like pure drunkness, he can't remember the name. And I was gonna. Shilan. You saying this out loud? Yeah. I'm gonna look it over and give that face like, well, they're going to, you know, well, that blows it. Disappointment. You, I'm intel- you, you gave me intelligence dumps then. She you says. Gave both of us an intelligence dump stat. I gave myself an intelligence dump stat as well. So why are you being smart? You. I'm okay, being smart. <laughs> You say Shalane. Enka says. Shalane. She's very interesting. And then she says something in Elvish. Gob. You, um. You understand Elvish, correct? Indeed. She says. She is with the heretic. Kill them quickly. You should roll for initiative. <laughs> Everybody, oh. be careful. They're no longer friendly. Hi. They're drawing uh, their blades. Oh, nice. I'm gonna oh, nice. pull I, back I, my cloak I, and just I'm sit so in. on the little drum. Also, intelligence might be your dump stat, but um. You're wise enough to know a social situation is troublesome. You're level five. Actually, I'm no, I'm not. I have a, I have a flat wisdom. Yeah, ten. That's the same wisdom that a commoner has. Yeah, but I'm. You also know the drunk. term. Common sense. Yeah. Aww. It's it's not very common though when you're drunk. Drunk people <laughs> you're, make you're... stupid decisions. I make the best decisions when I'm drunk, actually. Okay, good for you. What do you want, Cookie? No! All right, here we I go. want ice cream. Roll for initiative. What if there's a chocolate chip cookie? These With guys rolled like ass, so you guys got a decent shot at this. Oh, you guys rolled like ass, too. <laughs> well, one of us didn't. <laughs> and the same one that never rolls like ass. I'm used to going first, don't worry. All right, hang on a second. I got to change the music to something more exciting. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so, uh, Cassandra, when we have the state then? When we uh, get back? 
Give me a little sec. I'm also going to need to grab another book real quick. Nope. Nope. Yep. yep. It's just I can do things and these things may be useful for use. There we go. All right. Cassandra, it is you. You are up first. They are drawing yeah. their blades around you. You are surrounded by mean dudes. I would like to rage! <laughs> when you rage, you get big. Is that correct? It becomes um, large. I can choose. I can choose what I want to yeah, enlarge, I think. Like, oh, some yeah. barbarians look like oversized version of themselves. Perhaps with a hint of... Anim blah, blah, blah. I would like to make um, my boobs very person. large. <laughs> so... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where is it here? Um, <laughs> we'll knock the you. table aside. It's a tight space in here. We'll move people out of the way a little bit. I'm I, like, um, Telly's just gonna look over like, ooh. That's you rage. Finished. And then I'll, let me just check something. I need to read the stuff I have. Just casually turns into every anime character when they unlock new form. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll every just female anime character just goes attack this one big over now. here. Oh, does she cross her eyes and stick her tongue out? Funny though, too. That's what I want to know. Does she do that? That's what we need to know. Please don't bring back a eagle face. Bring it back. Do it. Okay, who Let's are we targeting? Let's go for rage. Yeah, who are you targeting? This one over here. That's that. That was that died. Okay. Yeah, you killed it. Let me see if I can find the rage in the. He's kind of like, nice. He's dead now. <laughs> yeah, the dead is still dead. You're fine. Yeah. And then this one, because I have extra attack. They're not particularly tough. Nice. That's plus two. That's 13. Yeah, that one's dead too. They are looking pretty shocked at how quickly <laughs> you're slicing and dicing them up. You sure you want to do this, lady? Oh, she's sure. <laughs> anything else? Any movement? Anything? Um, no, you I'm going to stay where the right, there, right there I am. You knock the table flat with your activity here. What's that? What's Giant's Havoc do? It's where she can see about um, what rage gives her and such. Yeah. Uh, Anka. Basically, just the Giant's Rage then. Yarp. Let's see no, what kind of damage she can do to you. Not enough. Isn't there a level where uh, warlocks can cast more than one Meldritch Blast or something? Yes. yes. Fifth level, too. It, it is fifth level. Yeah, yeah fifth so and then level. it is. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. So I can cast two then, I'm assuming. I think every class that has multi-attack gets that multi-attack at fifth level. And then if they get another one, it's usually around about 11th or 12th. No, so I couldn't say uh, if, where there was. It was saying that it's, I could then cast two. It's actually in Eldritch Blast. I think it, it, it doesn't particularly say you cast two, but it says like the beam splits off into two and you roll for both. Oh, it's yeah. Important. It creates more than one beam when you reach higher levels, two beams at first level. Nice. I like that. I like that Picasso, you know? Anka waves her hands and says some arcane words. Yeah, that ain't gonna do shit. Old person on who? Cassandra, make a saving throw. DC 11, 11. that's terrible. Bro, it's wisdom. Wisdom saving throw. You resist. Ooh, nice effect. Too bad it doesn't do anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. The combat mm -hmm. music hath stopped. <laughs>
Sag. Oh, I gotta fix that. I hate when that happens. Sometimes, you know what? It's when the effect made a noise. It interrupts the music. All right. This guy is right up on you. He's got a scimitar. I don't like that. That's yeah. not okay, Picasso. That's, he's not that tough. You got nothing to worry about. I mean, what's the worst thing that could go wrong? Rolls a crit. He rolls a crit. What, just like that? 17. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna hit, but, uh, denied. Shield, I'm assuming? You cast shield. Did you cast that? Yeah, with, with my, uh, with my, uh, race. Gotcha, uh, you cast shield. shield. Nicely done. Cast it. Right. I like this thing, like, hits or misses teleconnectic, like, you can see if it hit or missed. Mm. Gub, it's yes, your turn. Please. You've got one guy next to you, you've got... Enka, who is attacking, you've got another guy that is a little further away. Um, it's your turn. Mm. I am gonna look at Enka. And so I'm gonna say. Not a very gracious host, but then again, with a face like yours, you've got nothing to be grateful for. <laughs> and a vicious mockery. My DC is 15. Okay. Did you target her? Did you hit T for target? No, I did not. Sorry. DC I'll... 15 wisdom? Yeah. I'll just make the save and see what happens. You I can go ahead and cast it again. Yeah. Do it again. Just target her first. <laughs> Oh, crit fail. She is mocked. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I Good will one, bonus action bardically inspire Ellie because I feel he's gonna need it. You really don't believe in him, do you? Just kidding. Wow. He's probably going to cast <laughs> Eldritch Blast, and that Eldritch Blast is, is going to be at disadvantage, so a D8 yes. is really going to help. <laughs> He's a warlock. Okay. <laughs> T for target for whomever you're targeting. Okay. Uh, I'm going to target this dude. Okay. Uh, summon my packed weapon, which, luckily for me, I'm just using it as a dagger, which I have a dagger in my thing, so it makes it easier for me. Gotcha. And I believe I can stab him twice with it. Yes, because I can make two attacks. So yeah, interesting blade. I'm going to, I'm going to go stabby. Oh, that'll oh, kill him. Baby, a oh, baby, cripple. Nice. Oh. Well, the first hit does not oh. quite kill him. And then I'm going to crit again. Crit do the crit. Stab him again. Stabby, stabby. Oh, the first one didn't kill him. That was enough. They're weak. He's dead. Uh, yeah. So, he's dead. Uh, have no bonus action, so that's the end of my turn. Very nice. Gob, you've got this guy right on your right on your one o'clock. Oh yeah. He's he's got a scimitar. I've got a drum. Do, 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 do. He stabs at your drum and <laughs> manages to hit you for nine points of damage. Not the room. He, he looks actually surprised, like he was not expecting a fight. As soon as you guys mentioned Shalane, shit hit the fan. Uh, pretty much all of his friends died. <laughs> yeah, there's Cassandra. You could be the hero. You can end this. What mm -hmm. do you got? I'm Here, gonna... I'll move some bodies out of the way for administrative purposes. I'll do a Go reckless. Girl. He's recklessly for attacking y'all. Y'all. So? Oh, those are terrible rolls. Yep. 
Those are much better. Oh, nice damage. She's made of tougher stuff than her little flunkies. Oof. Yeah. That's me. You did so good, Cassandra. Thank you. Oh. And then, because, like, hey, yeah. And because, like, she's looking around. She realizes it's not looking so good. And she says, Verana, take you all. Face twist hatefully. She's going to step over here. That and Vox, right? My... What's that? Am yeah. I... Was I within five foot of her? She moved from there, yeah? She, she was mm. here. That's then. Um, oh. Yeah, you're farther away than you want to be, unfortunately. Ah. She is attacking with disadvantage, however, so this is probably not going to go well for her. Because she's got the... Um, vicious mockery going against her. She's still going to try her best. I can try my best! Don't forget to burn it yeah. off! Your best isn't good enough, unfortunately. Or it might be, we don't know yet. No. She missed. No, definitely not good enough. Should have attacked me. She'd have advantage. She'd have been a flat she... move. Bonus action. She has a little whistle around her neck. She grabs it and she blows into it. You don't hear anything. Ah, dog oh. whistle. Nice. Um, you mean, um, what's, what's the chances with... those lead to those outbears? So, um, right. I, um. Hello, we yeah, really need to get my dog. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna expend the bardic inspiration. <laughs> you moan at me when I'm not wearing my watch. The one time I do, I'm fucking in audio. I'm gonna expend the bardic inspiration die 1d8 for unsettling words. Uh, so she has to. Uh, it's a bonus action, by the way. Sorry. So she has to deduct a 7 from the saving throw that I'm about to throw her way. As okay. I bust off a Tasha's hideous laughter. <laughs> no, and I've applied that to my that. fucking self. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> you, you laugh at your own joke. Someone's got to. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry, I'll redo. You're already concentrating. Would you like to end concentration? Yeah, consume spell slot. No, click first level again. And then. Haza, haza, haza. <laughs> negative seven, she would still pass to my knowledge. No, she wouldn't. No, she would not. Not with a negative seven, because <laughs> your DC is what, 14, you said? Uh, DC 15. DC 15, and then. Negative Minus seven. Yeah, she only got a 13. plus one. So, 14, 13, yeah, she fails. Um, let's cast it on her again without expending a slot until she, pad, until she fails. Um,. Hideous laughter is just incapacitated, correct? Uh, hideous we laughter go. will have we go. <laughs> her incapacitated and prone. All right, let's do that. I will just do it with Defreds. She suddenly finds everything super funny. And, uh,. I'm a shout over to Telly. Need assistance here. And end my turn. Can she take uh nope. reactions? I uh, can't take actions, so I'd assume not. Uh, Likely not. 
Okay, Can I take so... actions or reactions so you're good, mate? I'm gonna yep. run the risk. Oh, I was gonna say I'm gonna run the risk. I'm gonna move back so I'm out of five feet. And I'm going to pop off. Her and Eldridge Blast. So, first beam yeah. gonna target her. You have a Bardic Inspiration on that? I don't think you yeah. use that. What's the Bardic Inspiration? The D8. Uh, D8. Yep. Nice, I like that. I'm gonna roll that D8 on that. And that. Why did she suddenly gain hit points? Something weird happened there. Because she did not have all of her hit points a moment ago. That's rather rude of you. There. How Lady. dare you? How dare she you? More like, she was more like <laughs> this. The land. Let me fix this. My dreams. There, that's about what she looked like before. Yeah, something weird happened there. Anyway, you hit her. Did some damage. Yeah. Um, she's still up, and I'm going to use the other one at her as well. Wait, you're targeting her? Yes, I'm afraid, unfortunately, she's the greater evil. She's incapacitated. Also, okay. also, you... These dudes, these dudes, these dudes go down easily. Yeah, one hit. Yeah. With the hideous laughter, she does get to make a save when she gets hit. Every time she gets hit, she gets to make a save. And if I get hit, and lose concentration, she comes back up. Right now, she's fucking pointlessly useless. You could have told me that. It's okay, she's gonna make two wisdom saving throws, so she got hit twice. She's incapacitated, she can't take actions or reactions. I don't know what it does. We just oh, told she, she, she shakes it off. She She'll have to still get back up next reactions. turn. I wasted the spell slot because of you. I don't know what it does. Life is hard. <laughs> she's still prone. She's no longer incapacitated. Okay, so what I'm gonna do then, as I fucked up slightly, is I'm just gonna slightly Wink. move myself there Wink. and gotcha. go and just use myself as a human shield. Human? Why are you so racist? I. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. As a gift to I, I can say whatever the fuck I want about myself. Anything else? Here. Any, any anything else on your turn there? Any bonus action? Uh, love to, but I don't think I have anything again. So no. Gotcha. It's really annoying. Someone uh, didn't uh, put any Elvis, bonus action. You run there. up and you run right into that space. This guy was busy considering stabbing Gobe, but now he's got a choice. As a matter of fact, since you ran up there to try to sacrifice your body, um, it's an easy choice. He's going to stab at you. You ran up. He's got his blade out. You're acting all threatening and shit. Please do. I'm just sitting here easy telling choice. funny jokes. That'll hit. Ooh, that, gon that, gon that all going to hit. That all going to hit. Don't like that. That's the we end of the not round. Like that. She's I like still prone, right so I have advantage without you, being reckless? Without being reckless, she is prone. She lays there before you. You've got that honking thing, great axe. Oh! She's wow. really hurting now. Oh, baby, triple! Oh! oh what what is there fucking crits to finish it. Oh, nice Why does it say friend. 42? Where are you reading 42? You never showed I saw 42, 42 on, on the dice. That's that was crazy. She still manages to somehow still have one hit point oh, left. That's awesome. Fuck off. <laughs> Alright, Goob, you, you, uh, you, uh, mock her or something. I don't know. I'll take this. I'll sort this dude out. She stands up with half of her movement. Because who wants to be prone? What? Not that it even matters, but we're going to get rid of that prone position. She gets up. Honestly, darling. 
she's going to cast um your wins. <laughs> no, she's going to cast a spell though. Does she have disadvantage or something? Though? Mass healing word. I'm afraid two of your people are dead. That's kind of a silly thing to do. One of your guys is also perfectly fine. So, just wasting spell slots there. Oh. Old person. Again? Again? She's gonna try. Oh. On who? They're yep. boring. Sandra, your muscles freeze up. <laughs> she starts running this way. Only with broken that now, window. Now. Now would be a good time to, uh, mock her. She can't, with having been prone, she used her half her movement to get up, otherwise she would have gone crashing through that window and maybe made a save to see if she was going to take any damage, but she can't quite make it. That is her turn. Um... Unfortunately, you've got a big barbarian in the way. I mean, you can go around her. It's a little tight, though. Uh, it's not my turn. Yeah, and from outside, you see something outside. Hmm. Passing outside the window. We make out what it is. What the fuck do you think the window? I I have no clue. I uh, there is you a there is a giant see. barbarian. There is a giant barbarian preventing me from seeing what's through that. When That's true. I'll be honest. Go. You feel it was obvious. Dude, are you suggesting <laughs> that I would meta game? No, I'm. I'm <laughs> suggesting you remembered what we encountered downstairs. Nope. Uh, I as as a as being drunk, I forget things rather regularly. Uh. Except my big boobs when I'm raging. So here's I, what I I'm gonna do. You like the big boobs? <laughs> I am going to. Where's us? Ah, bum 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 bum. I'm gonna run past the homie. I'm gonna obviously invoke that opportunity of attack, but I need to. Do okay, this. before you move, she's gonna take the op attack then, because it is easier for me to do it right now. Of course. Nope. So I'm gonna. That ain't. That all not gonna hit. Move to here. Firstly. Yeah. Alright. So I'm gonna use 25 foot of movement to get to here. Right. I am then going to cast. I, I just need to read it because I've never used this one before. It's gonna be a second there. Uh, find me I don't know. Right. I actually think I could probably move. I'm fine. I'm going to keep my movement. Would I be able to cast Cloud of Daggers on her location? As it reads, uh, fill the area with a Cloud of Daggers, five foot on each side, centered on a point you choose within range. A creature takes 4d4 slashing damage when it enters the spell's affected area. So I'm basically wanting her to be the affected area. It would hurt her. It would not hurt anything beyond the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, judging from what I can see in the window and how we got in here, we're technically safe in here. So, like, you see, just before you cast Cloud of Daggers, she is like seriously, seriously wounded, like near death wounded. Yeah, I can't, I can't, don't want her, don't want her to win guys, don't want her to win that one. Does she need to make a save on this though? 
doesn't say she needs to make a save, so I'm just going to try it and see what happens. Okay. So, you do. Yeah, she is just going to die. I mean, a cloud <laughs> of daggers. It, 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 it's going to cut her weapons. Her. Yeah, it's, it's, it's overkill. She had one hit point left. <laughs> Does it mean you should die? Literally, hold literally person one. Is no longer effective. The the hold person fades. I'll take that off of you. And let me go into effects. We'll get rid of the hold person. I'm gonna save my bardic inspiration. You haven't been hit, Cassandra. You have not been hit, so your rage is probably gonna go away at this point too. Oh no. Yep. Because have you been hit? Well, you got hit with hold person, so I guess that would kind of count. That was an offensive attack against you. I would count that as 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 being hit. The generosity. Well, mm -hmm. She moved. She moved. She moved at the beginning of the turn. She not have. I think it's. I think you need to do a whole round without hitting something or Can taking damage. Her? So yeah. Did you take any damage this round? Let's read what Rage says. No. I mean, it's very... I thought, I thought you could also uh, deal have... damage and it would stay. Because at the beginning of the turn, she wasn't held and made let's, attacks. Let's read what the feature says. I always want to be sure on this. Of course. I, I can never remember what Rage says. But yeah, I play a barbarian. <laughs> I believe Rage is take damage or deal damage or even just make or take offense in some way. Your rage lasts for one minute, it ends early if you're knocked unconscious or if your turn ends and you haven't attacked a hostile creature yep, you attack. since your last so you're turn or taken damage since then, you can also end your rage on your turn as a bonus act. Okay, so you've been attacking people. Your rage is still up for the moment. Beautiful. Kelly, you have a guy directly above you it is your turn. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to turn around to him and be like, hmm, bit of a shame this, isn't it? And uh, take my packed weapon out again. You um, don't, you're not sure that he speaks your language at all. No, nope, wrong thing. Yep, that's not, that ain't going to hit. I forgot to target him as well. Okay, and, uh, we'll look at, take another shot sec it. in the second attack. That'll hit. Mmm, I like that. You hurt him a little. Okay, uh, I'm gonna step to the side. Uh, Cassandra, mm -hmm. feel free. Feel free. Will do. It's not yours. It's not her turn yet. It's his turn. He's looking fairly oh. desperate. He. Five. That's leaving Cassandra's range. Oh, does she have ten yep. feet of reach? She gets reach when she rages. Oh, he's not aware of that. You can take an op attack against him, Cassandra. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's fucking yeah, dead. He, oh. he, he is. He is just obliterated. He had no idea that she was that close. Plead into. Plead <laughs> into. I'm just going to be like, <laughs> damn, that was hot. As the round ends, you definitely hear Gosh. shrieking, squawking noises as something is entering the room. Ooh. I'm concerned as to how it's doing that, but also curious. Yeah. <laughs> well, they can, they can still squeeze through a five foot corridor. It's, it's going to be fine. It shrinks, you know. It's fun. It just well, if you have you ever looked at a wet owl, it shrinks with the power of friendship. <laughs> I've never seen a wet owl. No, I don't need good. Oh, they're, 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 they're really skinny. It's it's like scary how skinny they actually are. Yeah. So a lot of the owl bear's fluff is feathers. So yeah, you've got something running in through the door, and we're gonna roll it into Jesus this round of combat. Fucking Christ, that's scary. Yeah. <laughs> And it rolled like ass. You know it's coming. You saw it through the window. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does nightmare feel? But you do see it coming around the corner here. I love how one of them. I love how one you... of them because the feathers. It looks like it has a penis. Yes, it's great. The the owl bear has a dick. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Cassandra, it is your turn. Top of the round. Yeah. Go ahead. Gonna Fuck up, I'm so sorry. You're cute, but I need to attack my friends, and I'm gonna recklessly attack. I like it. That'll hit. They're not hard to hit. They're just big. That's a big chunk out of the owl bear. Nice job. That's Emka me. Emka is dead. Mm -hmm. Cultists are all dead. She managed mm -hmm. to summon it, but it was too late f to save herself. She didn't get through the window because she was prone. So I, Dab. I'm going to drop concentration on my cloud of daggers. Okay, it goes so, away. So don't do myself a hurry. I'm going to run to the window and look out left and right, make sure there's nothing else coming. Can't see anything. You don't, you don't see anything. You see what you see is what I should say. My favorite phrase of all time. I'm then going to rent back up here and I'm going to be like ah ooh that's a problem and um, you we'll think look, we'll look at it and <sighs> well, maybe you should sit on Telly's dagger and turn it into a longsword fat ass and class <laughs> Let's just walk oh. right on the oh. owl bear. <laughs> yeah, damn. I'll read it again so that way you can do the same thing. Guess that was not as good as I thought it would be. Who? Who? Uh, you! It comes back with a who you. It gives you a sick burn of answering back and implying that you're the one who should sit on it, Fonzie. Guys, that one totally worked. In in fairness, while he's small, he is also rather chubby around the middle. Hot kettle. Kinetic, it's you. Um, I think you'll find that I'm rather slimlined, my friend. I'm going to uh take my pack da dagger again and uh smack it. I forgot to target it again. I'm very smart. It doesn't matter. You you miss anyway. Oh. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of a shit show in here where it's real tight quarters to get in there. Um, I'm going to uh, obviously make it that second attack, though. So it's all good. It's all good. See, I told you, it's all good. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. it does a little bit of damage. I, I hit it, guys. This cultist is dead. Let's mark him yeah. dead. There we go. Proud of you. Owlbear, let's see. One with beak, one with claws. I've got one target. He's a You're right in front of me, Cassandra. I mean, mm -hmm. it's big on big. Big, big. Fucking suplex. <laughs> oh, shit. I can use a reaction hellish rebuke. No, you can't. You're raging. You can't. You're raging. Okay, never mind. So I'm gonna yes. just exit out. No, ugly. Hit me. You should not That's have taken all damage. 13 of that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you should take seven back of that. Why is it not <sighs> applying seven. your rage? That's weird. It should be doing that automatically. Second yeah, attack. This was... is. Mhm. Mm this is why we pay attention. Yeah. I actually put a plus two rage on my great axe, so I'm gonna recklessly attack again. Go for it. It's already looking a little bloody. It's injured. Come on. Why is not, why is it not rolling? Who do we just do we just? Because I put somebody? the nah, plus two something. That's very There you go, RJ. If you want to watch what's going on. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. Hey, RJ. Hey, what's up? Derelict macaroon. Oh, indeed. 
Um, yeah, those are great bald owls. That's a really disturbing picture. I did just looked over to Discord. I haven't looked at that in a while. That's creepy. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, very uh, thought provoking. Like alien dinosaurs, creepy. You plunge your axe into its feathered body. It's really hurt now. It's injured, badly injured. Plus two for raging as well. I don't know why it's not putting that in. Okay, I'll put it in. I got you. Wait, is it giving plus two to hit? Sorry. It's fine. We're gonna. I mean, it's not gonna matter in the vast scheme of things. This battle's almost over. Mm -hmm. I think two hit points here and there aren't gonna aren't okay. gonna sway the tide of battle here. That's me. Enka should be marked as dead. This marker is dead. That's cool. Gob. Battle has definitely turned. There's just an owlbear in the hall, but it's getting chopped up. The close quarters of the hallway. Cassandra's got it in there like a cork in a bottle, and she's just hacking at it as it's trying to move through these in tight bed. quarters. It's too stupid to retreat. I, it's been the first uh, A, B, C, D, E, G, E, F, G, H. I am going to... I'm going to give... I'm gonna walk up to Buffers. I'm gonna walk up to Telly. I'm gonna go a hand on his shoulder and go. Yeah, take some help. And I'm gonna give the help action hospitality. You and the creature, you help each get a number of temporary hit points equal to 1d6 plus your proficiency bonus. So d6. Plus three he gets oh wow that's he gets nine uh mat, nine temporary hit points. Alright, I'll nice. put that in his okay. Nice. Yeah, that's well, amazing. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna turn and respond and be like, honestly, I'm just surprised you can reach my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> that's You're that's that a, the sound of the laughing. <laughs> You're not that there tall. You go. You're actually Average and you're no. short for your race. Really. Uh, I think I'd beg to differ. Tell it yes, you. Yes, he leaves me quite satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> Went there. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. <laughs> uh, I'm going to look at this thing again. You know, I, I thought you were quite nice until uh, you hit Cassandra. Yeah, we don't do that here. Dude, I'm, I'm your I'm tank. Start again. You have advantage, I'm yeah. helping you. Yeah, I know. I forgot to add the advantage. I always forget to do that. Yeah, because yeah. I'm very smart. I'm very smart. I also forget how to add the advantage in the beginning. Hold down alt. Hold down alt. Yes. Oh, shift. Okay. So that, that was... No. No. I, I did... I held down shift. I held down shift. It okay. said alt. Oh, alt. Okay. Why is it working so that was for me and I click shift then? Maybe it's both. I don't alt. know. Dagger. I did press alt then. Are you holding it when you click? I'm holding it before, during, and after slightly. Hmm. Just to make sure I am. Well, you're missing anyway, so... It's alright. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that's the, what I'll do is I'll just roll twice for each... Uh... Yeah, that's fine. That works. So, that was the first one, and then... Here's the second one. There you go. Got a little nice. purchase there. Nice. It's I'll just keep it as that. It's holding it Instead together. Oh. The owl bear. Oh. So, Tally, are you within five feet of it? It's hard to tell with the map. Yeah. Yeah, I am. I am. So, we're going to see. 
will it come back at you to you? Oh, top to bottom. It maybe is going to attack you this turn just for fun. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Oh, please, go ahead. I rolled dice. That's the way it works sometimes. One beak. You stabbed it. It didn't like that. It does not like you. Oh, no. What a shame. It's, uh, hit me. Oh! It succeeded, <laughs> so it took half. And now it's going it to kill the claw, and... too. It is still standing. Hellish Papuke was fun, though. I like it. Mm. Couple of hit points in a dream. Mm -hmm. Cassandra, it, hey, hit your, yeah. it hit your special friend. Well, that hurts. Finish it. That'll finish it. Not, There's not, nothing not you can do to. You have killed it. It's suddenly, very quiet. And you see Ramesh is in the corner. You just hear him say, "Holy shit!" Yes, it's no, just my name is Cassandra. The whole, the combat is over. No, I'm just immediately going to. He said, "You guys don't know. You guys don't know what you're messing with here. Holy crap!" I'm just immediately going to turn to Cassandra and go, "I love it when you rage." <laughs> <laughs> There's dead um, bodies everywhere. I'll move them onto the screen again. So you may pin this one hard, believe. We played for six hours. Um I stopped bothering about cutting it like periods of stuff because you know, certain things happen, it jumps, it may seem odd. So yeah. Uh part two. Same time next week, guys. May.